I'm Andrea Robinson, and I'm a master sommelier. I'm also a television host of food, wine, and travel shows. As a trained chef, I've written four books on food, wine, and cooking. So I'm thrilled to work with Le Creuset on this delicious series on wine and to share with you the truth about wine, that it doesn't have to be expensive or complicated. Wine makes food taste better, and it's fun. I'm also a mom and an avid gardener and home cook. My family and I live in wine country, and we cook dinner with each other pretty much every day. So I'll show you my absolute favorite food and wine pairing tips that can turn even everyday meals into a special occasion. So come along and let's hit the wine trail. Welcome to the Le Creuset Wine Series. In this series, I'm gonna tell you how to choose a bottle of wine, how to open that bottle with ease, and I'll also show you some great food and wine pairing tips to make the most of that wine, as well as how to serve and preserve it. But let's start with how to pick a bottle. And I get this question all the time because there are so many wines. Well, I've got some great pro pointers for you, but first, I'd like to find out, what do you think? How do you go about picking a bottle of wine in the store? What do you think about? <laughs> um, recommendations from friends, um, things I've read about in the newspapers, past experience with the brand. Price points. Money is a big factor, I'd say. I always look at the label. So I'm not gonna lie, I do like the aesthetics of a nice label. If there's somebody there, I would much rather get their advice. I'll usually ask if it's a good wine. So I might like go up and be like, what do you think about this one? So you nailed it. But I've got a few more pointers for you. First of all, we all love food, right? Really consider the food that you're gonna pair that wine with because it will make it sing. In fact, I've got a couple of videos coming up in this series devoted just to food and wine pairing that you're gonna love. The next pro point is learn your palate. And there are lots of ways to do that, but it starts with trying a lot of different wines. You may wanna to put together a tasting group, Another great way to try different wines is to go buy the glass in restaurants. And finally, my best tip for learning your own palate is to start with what I call the big six grapes. Three whites and three reds that are the style benchmarks for the entire wine world. And if you learn those grapes, you'll learn a whole lot about your palate. And you'll also learn about one of the classic wine countries in the entire world, France. Meet the big six, starting with Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc, and Chardonnay for whites, and for reds, Pinot Noir, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Syrah. For our big six whites, we're gonna start with the Riesling, which hails from the Alsace region of France on the eastern border of the country. It's lightest in body of all the big six whites, and it has a floral fragrance and exotic citrus flavors. Now let's move to Sauvignon Blanc, which hails from the Loire Valley region in France, named for the beautiful long river that runs through it. Sauvignon Blanc is the medium-bodied white of the Big Six, and it has lime and lemon flavors, as well as a snappy herbaceousness. Delicious! And finally, our Big Six grape, Chardonnay, which hails from the Burgundy region of France, a beautiful, classic-growing region. This is the fullest body to the Big Six grapes, with everything from crisp and tangy lemon and apple flavors, all the way to lush and exotic tropical fruit flavors. Fantastic. So which is your favorite? The floral and elegant Riesling, the juicy and savory Sauvignon Blanc, or the lush and exotic Chardonnay? Taste through these three and you'll know a lot about your palate, at least when it comes to white wine. Now for the reds. Pinot Noir. It also hails from the Burgundy region of France. Remember our Chardonnay white? Well, this is its red grape partner, and it is delicate and silky with delicious cherry flavors and an earthy quality. Next, we have Cabernet Sauvignon, which comes from the famous Bordeaux region of France in the Southwest. Cabernet is medium to full bodied with dark fruit and rich velvety tannins. And finally, we have the Syrah grape, which comes from the Rhone region of France in the South, where it's nice and warm, giving you lots of peppery spice and luscious dark fruit. Pinot Noir, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Syrah. Taste through those big six grapes and you will know the world of red wine or at least have a really good start on it. Ah, <sighs> so there you have it. Once you know your own palate and the big six grapes, you can start to relax about choosing a bottle of wine and just enjoy it. At least once you get the cork out, that's coming up next video.